Malcolm Brown was an AP Saigon bureau chief during the Vietnam War. He was the one who photographed the iconic image of a monk setting himself on fire in 1963. He died at a hospital in New Hampshire Monday. Brown was 81. In a 1998 interview, Brown said he spent countless hours befriending monks in Saigon in the early 1960s. He says the monks protested against being ignored by their government and threatened ritual suicide. Brown says he was the only reporter who showed up to document the gruesome sight of the monks' final moments. The air was so full of just smoke that you could hardly breathe. It was very hot. It's a, it was a particularly hot day. <laughs> it's a horrible recollection. And the flames, of course, engulfed him immediately. And uh, he, he, uh, his, his face winced. You could tell from his expression that he was in terrible pain, but he never cried out. His photographs appeared on the front pages of newspapers around the world and even prompted President John F. Kennedy to reevaluate the U.S. position on Vietnam. Brown, along with Peter Arnett and Horst Fast, was part of a small band of reporters known as AP's Human Wave. During the Vietnam War, they earned journalism's highest honor, Pulitzer Prizes, for their coverage. Brown once said he survived being shot down three times in combat aircraft, was expelled from a half dozen countries, and was put on a death list in Saigon. After leaving the AP, Brown spent much of his career at the New York Times, where he worked for three decades. He survived by his wife, two children, and his brother and sister. John Belmont, Associated Press.